Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of A Healthcare Hygienist with Heart. Today I am speaking with Cynthia Scott. She is a registered dental hygienist in Riverton, New Jersey, and I'm really excited to speak with her today because she is one of our most recent Oral Systemic Educator Certificate Program graduates. Welcome, Cynthia. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're so glad that you were able to chat with us today. So you're doing something really, really unique, and I'm not sure that I even understand all of it based on the few things you've told me, but in a nutshell, what you've done with your oral systemic educator education is that you have helped uh, do extensive consulting with a brand new medically integrated dental facility in Camden, New Jersey, correct? Correct. Um, I'm very fortunate and excited to be part of this new program that um, has been led by an initiative of the program director of the Ryan White funded HIV program here at Cooper University Hospital in Camden. Wow, so is HIV the bulk of what you're doing or is there more? So right now we will be starting with the patients that are already in um, either active HIV or preventive HIV treatment um, within um, the early intervention program. Um, and then we are planning to be able to branch out um, hopefully to other departments within the hospital. So we are talking about trying to do some things. Um, we have an MD Anderson Cancer Center here at Cooper, um, and I know they've expressed a lot of interest in being able to get their patients um, not only just cleared for treatment, um, but hopefully some preventive and um, you know pre-procedural like prehabilitative care. So we've got a lot of things on the radar. Fantastic, and, and we just launched our oncology certificate program. So. Um, you know, send them our way. <laughs> yeah, yes, I am already another up and yeah. oh, you're signed up. Fantastic. Ideas for my capstone. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, I was waiting and waiting, waiting for it. <laughs> Super uh, excited. Yeah, this has been the most exciting is that people like you who are obviously very program development minded uh, are taking our, our certificate programs and then we love watching how uh, now they need to hire hygienists to do more of the actual clinical work and education because they're really, um, using their brain to do the clinical workflows and the infection control and procedure writing. Uh, how did you find out that you enjoyed doing all that stuff versus clinical hygiene? Uh, a trial by error. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you know, I think that a, a lot of us, you know, as we started this, um, I was fortunate. I was able to get in very early when a lot of things were still in development. And I think even um, the program directors, um, you know, had a, a, a lot kind of on their plate to get this dental service up and running. Um, and it was a, a lot of paperwork and information and documentation. And um, yeah, I, I don't think I really realized I would be doing all of the things that I did, um, hey. but a lot of it was really eye-opening and I found a lot of um, kind of strengths and, and new things that I enjoyed. So it's, oh, been, fantastic. it's been an adventure. <laughs> so really then, if I'm understanding you correctly, you didn't, you didn't start knowing we're going to end up doing all of these things uh, because you, you wrote me some, just a short list of some of the things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, patient education and outreach, inventory, setup, organization, software imp implementation, yeah and guidance. I mean, infection control, regulatory compliance, it's so much that's beyond the scope of what a clinical hygienist typically does. And of course, when you're in private practice, sometimes you realize that you're good at these things and you say, oh, I'll be the office HIPAA manager or whatever. Um, but how did you land this role? I think our, our listeners would really like to know that as well. Um, so I was, I was actually really lucky. I have been working with a um, dental residency program at another area hospital, um, a different hospital, but it was um, hospital ran, but not located at a hospital. It was more of in like a health center. So I had been able to work with them and they had a pediatric mobile services program, 
Um, so between the two, I knew, you know, once I started in that direction, that I, that was where I was headed. I was definitely going to be staying with that. Um, I was lucky enough to find you and, and the National Network of Healthcare Hygienists and be able to enroll in the OSE program. So I knew that the past experience in a healthcare system and then the oral systemic educator certification would really give me an advantage as I try to find some of these hospital-based programs. Um, and I honestly was just dumb luck that I found this one. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't think um, that there were many in my area. Um, I've been doing a lot of research through different groups, uh, your, your group, the people that are in your group, um, some Facebook groups. And unfortunately, you know, I know you're you're so aware. the The practice acts are so different from state to state. Um, I didn't think that there would be many opportunities for hospital based in New Jersey because the the practice act is so restrictive. So, to be able to find an integrated dental program that's hospital based, uh, I, I this is one of the few times in my life I just had good timing. I think. <laughs> And you know they're out there and I say that to students all the time that are worried that they're going to take the program and then not be able to find a job on Indeed and I, I keep reminding them that the traditional route might not be how they get there but they absolutely if they set the intention and open their hearts they absolutely through word of mouth and networking are going to find their perfect opportunity and so it sounds to me like you found your perfect opportunity um, just from setting the intention that you wanted to better be able to navigate two worlds, these two silos that can be so separate. And really, you're, I'm sure, a huge blessing to that system as that bridge between these two silos right now. And the OSE helped you feel prepared and confident um, to go in and know that, hey, I might come from dental lingo, but I, I now have some confidence in the medical lingo as well, correct? Absolutely. Um, I think that, you know, to be able to, to have something above and beyond, you know, your, your standard licensure and credentials and experience that, that speaks to kind of bridging those things is, is really important as you look for these types of positions that, you know, like you say, they are out there, they're, they're in hospitals, there's an, they're in FQHCs, they're in health centers, they're in, um, you know, all kinds of outreach programs, you know, they may not be traditional, they they evolve, you know, you may have to have some flexibility, um, but but the more I have paid attention to it and, and learned and seen the things that are going on, there's, there's definitely um, a push for this type of medical dental integration in all kinds of different roles for hygienists. Yeah, and, you know, getting your foot in the door and making sure that they know who you are, what your name is, what your credentials are, that you have this additional training uh, when they are ready. <laughs> they're going to come to you. They're, they're not going to post that role on Indeed. They're going to come to you. So that's why the capstone and the practicums have been so helpful. We've heard so many hygienists end up getting uh, positions created for them in more of an integrated clinical way, or yeah. like you, um, really moving into more of the, the consulting role and the program development role, because no matter how restrictive, super supervision laws are in your state, all of us can help with education and setup of systems and protocols, which every single hospital that's trying to integrate oral health needs right now, all of them, 100% of them. Every single one. <laughs> they yeah. all need it. Every and they one. appreciate yeah. our brains so much. I, I think so. I think, you know, a lot of times you, you kind of don't know what you don't know. And then when you have someone that kind of brings some things to your attention and, and kind of points you in a different direction, I think that that is really enlightening to everyone in healthcare. You know, they all just want the best for their patients. And I think, you know, everybody gets kind of siloed into their, their, their roles. And the unique thing about this is that it really gives you an opportunity to, to not only branch out, but to kind of bridge them together. And, and that's a unique opportunity in, in dentistry and in healthcare total, because you, you get to kind of, help to 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 blend them together absolutely 
And so if someone would like to chat with you more, I'm going to go ahead and put your uh, contact info below, uh, right below this video. So if anyone wants to reach out to you because they have a very specific um, interest in what you're already doing, is that okay if they reach out? Absolutely. Yeah, I actually um, spoke with someone. I've commented on a Facebook feed and we were messaging back and forth about our program. So I'm always interested in talking um, talking to and learning from other people about what they're doing too. So absolutely. Wonderful. And, and inside the network, we just got that brand new community feature inside the network. I'm sure that you're going to get a lot of, I'll, I'll, I'll post this in there. So I'm yes, sure you're going to get a lot of direct messages. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Cynthia, for chatting with me today. And let's oh, plan to do a great. let's plan to do another interview once you've um, you've got this program up and running and you're dabbling your toe in oncology. Absolutely. Um, hopefully, we will be opening our doors for patients in the coming weeks and already gearing up for adding some more fun things. So, definitely looking forward to it. How exciting! All right, everyone. Thanks for joining Cynthia and us today, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you.